hope you're doing well. Welcome back. We are in beautiful Zermatt, staying at the Bristol Hotel. Let me show you this room and this view. can't see it right now because of the clouds, but right behind me, over my head over there, that's the Matterhorn. We are expecting clear skies tomorrow, maybe later today, so what a heck of a view. Cheers, fam. Ah, end scene. All right, well, welcome to Zermatt. We're gonna wander around the city a little bit, grab something to eat. I will show you all of that. It will show you this beautiful little town, which is, looks like it's a ski resort kind of town, which is very cool, but I'll show you all the sights and sounds as we wander around. Ooh, I rhymed. All right, we found ourselves a place, an Italian place called Casa Mia. We're gonna head there, grab something to eat because we are starving. It's about a 90 minute train ride up here from uh, Grindelwald. So if you are traveling by public, uh, public uh, transportation, uh, not a bad way to come. First impressions of the town, baby. It is so charming. It's actually not tiny, it's massive. There's a ton of hotels and lots of little shops and a lot of restaurants. So I'm excited to get some tasty eats. Okay, well, we changed our mind. We're gonna go to this other Italian place called Malino Pizzeria Restaurante. Looks good, tons of seating, check it out. Man. All right, our salad and appetizers are here. And of course we have to get drinks, so as usual, an April day, keep the doctor away. Cheers, baby. Cheers. And then we got this called a triste bruschette. It's basically three different bruschettas. Or bruschettas. <laughs> you should really say it. And then we got this salad that was very interesting looking. We're not going to eat in front of you today because we're starving, but we'll tell you all about it after. All right, our main meal has arrived. I got this beautiful smoked salmon pasta. My gorgeous bride got this very simple spaghetti that she created herself. Huh? What a fancy, fancy lass. Anyway, I'll let you know at the end how this place was. Catch up with you in a minute. All right, Molino's molto bene, huh? Very good, very good. Not as good as yesterday when we were in uh, Interlaken, yeah. but I think the, but also we got different sauce. Yesterday was like super uh, tomato based and today was more olive oil. Yep. But it was good. Yep. I enjoyed mine. That smoked salmon uh, pasta was really, really good. So let's get back to exploring. All right, we stopped in this cute little bakery cafe called Bucks. Let me make that up. Let me make that up. Get us a little pick me up. When we go to a new country, Momo always treats herself to something really, really nice, which is why we went in there. She saw a purse she liked. Me? She found me the biggest broad ever. Yum. All right, picked me up a new lid. Looks beautiful, and we're just grabbing tickets for the train tomorrow to get up to the uh, area we want to scout around and hike. So, getting a little bit done on this tour of the town. Right now, we're just taking the scenic way back to 
our hotel for the night, which, you know, was a beautiful one. There is a ton of packages included in that hotel room as well, which is really cool. Not sure how much we'll get into it or show you, but one of the interesting things is a lot of these hotel experiences here come with a wellness kind of package with like your saunas, your steam rooms, uh, breakfast included, which I think if we put some of those pictures up on our Instagram has been just amazing and it's part of the package. So when you're here or coming here, take a look at some of the package offered. You might find one that you really, really like. We are just matriculating our way back to the hotel, but look at this quite the ski resort kind of town. So if you're into skiing, you're into resorts, you're into towns, <laughs> this has everything you're looking for. You. Also, if you haven't seen it in the videos, they have the cutest little taxis here. I don't know how they fill those things up with like four to six people, but they are absolutely adorable. Well, right before we walked into our hotel to call it a day, we found this cute little place, the Rex. We're at the Wood and Fire Bar, and check this out. You ready for it? Now, I got the Hoi Sour, which is a very complicated drink here. It's uh, some kind of schnapps, lime, natural base sugar, bitters, smoked. Um, it sounds absolutely incredible. So let's put it down our gullets. Mm. Sour, sweet, smoky. Can't really ask for more. Absolute delicious. One last stop, <clears throat> bar in the hotel. I got the cocktail of the day, which is an Aperol Sour. What the did Momo get? Aperol <laughs> She is a connoisseur of Aperol Spritz's friends. So let's try this. Ooh. Very sweet and bitter at the same time. Sounds like us, sweet, bitter. What? Well, good morning. We're back up in Adam after this morning. Hopping on this train here to Gorgonvat, the observation deck, to check out the beautiful views of the Matterhorn and some of those lakes. Stay with us. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we have made it to Gornergrat Station. It is epic up here. We are currently at just over 10,000 feet of elevation at this observation deck that we're gonna wander around a little bit. An incredible sight. Oh my God, look at that. Whew. All right, they've got a couple cool shops. One of them, an alcohol shop with a bunch of gins and whiskey, so you know I gotta hook myself up. Not that I have a drinking problem, just I'm a connoisseur of fine alcohols. 
All right, so while we're up here, we're going to do the Gornagrat to Riffelberg hike. It's about 2.3 miles back down to Riffelberg, where we are flirting with taking a cable car across to the glacier paradise. So stick with us. Let's go get uh, our boots in the snow. Okay, it may only be 2.3 miles, but now and again you step and it's like a foot deep in snow. So this is going to be very strenuous. And it's downhill, which we just did that six mile one a few days ago. Still recovering. Our calves, our quads are just absolutely wrecked. We are glutton for punishment. We're doing it all over again. I also want everyone to know that this is Momo's idea, so in case I don't come back from this trip, she buried me out here somewhere in this 12 to 18 inch snow. Ah! 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 Okay, that might be the way to get down, is just slide. All my stuff's waterproof, so not a big deal, but man, I just came from up there. <laughs> oh. Whew. We're currently on the ski slope path going down. Following that for a bit. Getting back on trail. I'm using all trails. By the way, downloaded the map, so I feel pretty good about where we're headed. We aren't 100% about this trail just because you can't see anything but the, uh, ski, the ski part of it, or the slope. So we're just kind of following that because all trails do. But it looks like we're gonna cross over that way towards the Matterhorn. <sighs> but just a beautiful place. We're sweating up a storm too, man. The sun glaring off the snow is just intense. Just for reference, how treacherous is this? It took us 40 minutes to do this one mile. Whew, that is quite a bit. Here we go. Ah, yeah. <laughs> 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 Woo! Oh, I love it. All right, we made it back down to one of the train stations, Rottelbalden. Uh, which is right over there. You can see we're headed down that way to Riffelsee to see this beautiful mountain alpine lake. And you just cannot believe how blessed we are. I mean, look at this. It's the freaking Matterhorn, guys. The Matterhorn and not a person around. Just us out in the snow enjoying the world as it should be. Also, in case you're wondering how deep is the snow, well, looks like <laughs> there is a garden buried under here. We saw one of these poles, they're about three feet high, so it snowed up here. Well, nothing to see of that uh, alpine lake because it is snowed over. Just looks like the rest of this, so we're not gonna even attempt to get close to that. All right, we can see the other train station down yonder. That's where we're headed. We'll catch up with you there. For the next part of our adventure, just a little something. Cheers. <laughs>
All right, well, as you can see, we jumped into a gondola, hit the Fury, and then from Fury, we're headed to the Glacier Paradise. Let's go. Looks like we're jumping on another gondola. We have finally made it to the top, to the beautiful Glacier Paradise. We are in an ice tunnel. Oh man, the air in here is incredibly crisp in your lungs. Mm. The altitude's a little rough too, it's like 12,500 feet, so it takes you a little bit to get used to that, but whew, this thing sobers you up fast. Wow, so far, absolute trip. Number one, it is freezing, coldest spot we have been. But then these ice sculptures are just absolutely incredible. Here we've got a couple of cows fighting behind me. Saw the, the wolf one, the person doing something. I mean, just incredible. You know what else is really, really cool? Momo and I practically have this place to ourselves. We came up on that gondola, it holds 28 people, 26 of those people had skis and snowboards. Momo and I are the only people coming to this thing, so you might be up here by yourself. Well, a very short little attraction up here, cost I think it was 13 francs each, but so worth it. Just absolutely incredible to be inside this carved out paradise if you are so whew, we're gonna head outside see if we can get this incredible view that we saw coming up on the gondola it is absolutely breathtaking we are it feels on top of the world all right i promised you a view i am going to give you a view look at this never seen anything like this just such an incredible view look at that you got the Matterhorn over here and then just mountains mountains as far as the eye can see The most breathtaking view I have ever, ever seen. What's crazy, there's a mountain over here called the Brighthorn. Kind of looks like Half Dome. There are people lined up up there to ski down it. People are absolutely crazy, and I am here for it. What an incredible moment. Okay, we're jumping back on the gondola de Fury. Then we're gonna go on a little bit of a stroll going to this really cool little hike down here. It's like a 1.1 mile hike called Gardnerstrucht. 
Anyway, we're super excited, so we'll catch up with you down there. This is a 0.7 mile trek from where we got off the gondolas down an adorable little trail that is headed through the woods and such. And how cool is it? Look, deer over there in the mountain. And a marmot. Marmot? Marmot as well. Whew, what an adventure. Oh, this current trail we're on had taken us through some very old areas. <sighs> some very old looking buildings. Really cool to see. <sighs> but here we go. Onwards and upwards. No, that doesn't make sense since I'm headed downhill. <laughs> All right, friends. Well, the Gorner Gorge or the Gorner Schluck closed so we did all this walking for nothing and uh yeah so looks like we're gonna call it a do here catch up with you at dinner ciao we promised you dinner we are at casa mia which is an italian restaurant here in zermatt we've got a starter which is this beautiful salad and a beautiful wife <laughs> mm. And we're not going to show us eating, so we'll let you know how it is afterwards. We've got a couple pizzas coming. We'll show you those. And we'll give you the final analysis. <clears throat> All right, our pizzas have arrived. I got the diavola, which is spicy salami. I threw some uh, pepper oil on there. And what did you get, my love? I got the pastosa, and it has spicy ham, I believe it was. No, spicy salami. And then, I don't know, I'm tired. Che cheese and tomatoes. <laughs> It looks magnificent. This looks delicious. Not not uh, served American style, right? Sliced. So we're doing uh, what we would consider European. Grabbing a fork, grabbing a knife, cutting away at this. So we'll let you know when we're done how this place stacks up. We are leaving Casa Mia, baby thoughts. So good. We had a very long day of walking and hiking, nine miles to be exact. So we were just ready for a really great meal. The pizza was like super thin, but the crust was nice and fluffy and burnt. It was mm. delicious. Yeah, it was a great place. Recommend when you come into Zermatt, uh, if you're having an Italian fix and you need yourself a little pasta, a little pizza, seems like the, the right spot. Also, this is it for us in Zermatt. We will be heading out and uh, going on to Zurich tomorrow. Not sure how much filming we're gonna do because we are gonna truly try and relax because the last few days have been break neck for us. So anyway, I know, I'm making excuses. I gotta post content just for you guys because you love it. So please <laughs> like, please subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you can continue to follow us when we do some great things like this. Bye. Bye.